Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, I'm going to introduce you to one of the most important topics in the field of maintenance and reliability. It is called reliability centered maintenance. The importance of this topic cannot be overemphasized. Reliability centered maintenance is not just a type of maintenance like preventive, corrective or predictive maintenance that we have discussed earlier in the course. RCM is a complete maintenance philosophy. It is a whole new approach to maintenance. Earlier in the course, we discussed how reactive and corrective maintenance were the prevalent forms of maintenance in the early days of industry. Over time, as industrial knowledge about maintenance evolved, people realized that we don't need to wait for failures and breakdowns to do maintenance on equipment. We should try to prevent problems in equipment by doing maintenance on them even without breakdowns. Hence, preventive maintenance was born. As industrial knowledge further expanded, people realized that we can predict failures by installing sensors over equipment, gathering data, and analyzing the data using the computing power available today. Hence, predictive maintenance was born. Reliability-centered maintenance represents the latest understanding in the evolution of industrial knowledge regarding maintenance. It puts a renewed focus on reliability of machines and challenges the earlier maintenance concepts. The approaches we just mentioned are related to when to do maintenance. Like reactive maintenance is the maintenance after breakdowns. Conversely, preventive and predictive maintenances are maintenance before breakdowns. The RCM approach addresses much more than simply the when of the maintenance. RCM finds every possible way in which a machine could fail. It then finds every possible way you could prevent or predict that failure. If you are unable to prevent or predict it, RCM directs you to find ways to deal with the consequences. In this way, what RCM does is actually prepare you for dealing with every possible type of failure you could experience in your equipment. What you get from all this effort is improved reliability. RCM ensures that no surprises are left for you and that you have an action plan for everything that could go wrong in the plant. There are three main outcomes of RCM. These include revised maintenance schedules, revised operating procedures, and redesign of equipment or the process. These three outcomes are the basic outcomes of the RCM process. However, apart from these outcomes, RCM also results in increase of knowledge about the equipment and about the plant or about the processes in your industry. In the next lecture, we're going to look at the seven questions of reliability-centered maintenance that constitute the seven steps of implementing RCM. See you in the next lecture.